Hello everybody out there, Patrick Brown here, Golden Gate Park, doing a little in the bag, spin TV. First of all, I need to thank my sponsors, Innova and Grid Bags for helping me get my disc and my disc around. Uh, we'll start off with putters. Lately, I've been liking the McPros. These are nice and stable. They've got a nice little fade to them. Uh, great for some outside putting, all around good putter. And I got to support the beast. Um, to throwing putters, I like these P2s. These are the first run of them, so they're a little chalky. Definitely stable for a beadless putter. Uh, I've got them beat to go pretty straight. I like these a lot. Next, I always keep, you know, 11 time AVR. Nice 96 big bead mold. These are great for uh, more of approaching and throwing in. Some of my inside putts where you're just keeping it basic. I like those a lot. Specialty putter for me, a little KC 170. Nice and soft, a little bit tackier, so you need to feel out your putters, find the ones you like. This is a good little left to right for me. Uh, moving on, we're going to mid-ranges. I like to keep an assortment of mid-ranges for the different shots that are out there. Uh, starting with the Panther, a little left to right jaunt. This thing's really got some distance on it. It's also a great roller, it's very symmetrical. Um, next, my go-to is a Star XD. These are a little bit slower in flight than a rock, but uh, it's very easy to keep calculating and definitely stands up against the wind. Uh, moving on from that, everybody on Innova has got to carry a KC Pro Rock, one of the best flip-up discs. Great distance on these. Get these to about 320, 340. Um, it's got that nice little pop-up and glide. Newer to my bag is the Rock 3. I'm loving the distance you can get off these with a new speed of five. Nice and flat, get a lot of carry, a lot of distance off this in a really nice straight line. Maybe a little bit of fade to the right with some wind. Backing that up, I use a Shark 3. I like the speed on this once again. The improvements they've made on these discs are remarkable from Innova. I'm loving this about 350 and definitely has a little bit more fade back to the left than my rocks. A uh, very trustworthy disc in the wind. Moving on into fairway drivers. Always keep a nice beat leopard, high left to right. It's got a lot of hang, a lot of drift. Get that one in a little bit lighter weight so I can make sure it's gonna stay right on line. New to my bag lately are these uh, Discmania FDs. This is just a good improvement between a TL and a leopard. Really nice and straight, good seven speed controllable disc. After that, I mostly throw T-Birds. Uh, nice domey ones right now that they're coming out with that are real hard. They have a lot of flight and getting really good distance out of that. Um, if not, for an easier T, I like a little bit flatter one. And you can get that to hold the line a lot longer before your fade back in. These are just a great, you know, leopard, T-Bird, eagle, firebird, knife, spoon, and fork for eating and getting the job done. Um, 11 time eagle, slightly beat in, worked in. Uh, get you a little bit straight line with a little bit of drift at the end. Definitely know you're gonna get some fade and some comeback at the bottom. Um, the newest thing to my bag too that I'm really going to are these PDs. These nice flat ones, stiff. I'm not even throwing in a heavy weight, it's a 168. This disc will always come back and it's just getting to the point. It's fast, 10 speed, nice fairway driver. Last but not least, you know, KC Firebird. You gotta have a fire chicken in the bag if you wanna play most of the courses that I play. There's a lot of wind, a lot of elevation, and a lot of wanting to get back left to your spot. So definitely rocking these. Uh, going into drivers, I keep it pretty simple on drivers. Glow Roadrunner, it's a little bit more stable than the average Roadrunner, but it keeps a nice little left to right or great roller. Easy also flicks for sit-ups. Um, after that, Pearly SL, very symmetrical flat disc for rolling. Also just great, a little bit more length on the left to right. Really like that disc. After that, I mainly just go to Destroyers. So I always keep an Avery Destroyer since he's got his name on these now, supporting the team. This one's B to a little flip, B to a little straight. These pink jaunts are just my go-to. Been this way since 2010. I've always carried one of these, bought a bunch of them. They're a little marbled, a little domey, a little stiff. Definitely a good distance disc. Definitely coming back left at the end. You're not gonna worry about flipping that disc and losing control on it. Following that up, 
like I back to these Avery Destroyers, find them hard, get them stiff. Definitely good for like pulling out right and getting to come back left, or like I did, a little skip ace over at the end of the trail classic. Crucial to have in the bag for me. And last in my bag is a katana. Just something you can get a little more distance out of in that, up the fairway and maybe a little more fade to the right, but when you find them like that, they're pretty much coming back left anyway. So it's definitely not a flip out of control, uh, understable driver. It got me distance at Worlds, so I keep that. These are what I use to get my job done. Go out there and get your job done. Do it up. Thanks, Innova. Disc off. Champion disc and a grip. Thank you very much.